from our studios in the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California. This is a CUBE Conversation. Hello and welcome to the Cube Studios in Palo Alto, California for another Cube Conversation where we go in depth with thought leaders driving innovation across the tech industry. I'm your host, Donald Klein. Today we're here to talk about digital transformation and the challenges many enterprises face in helping employees adopt the new applications that drive their business. To have that conversation, we're joined by Vara Kumar, CTO and co-founder of Whatfix. Vara, welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks Don for inviting me to Great. the show. Great, so, so looking forward to this. Uh, tell us a little bit about Whatfix, what you guys do, and, and a little bit of the history here. Sure, Whatfix is a digital adoption platform. So essentially it overlays on top of applications and makes employees to use applications faster and better. Right. So, so we have five years old company. So we have offices in uh, four different uh, countries uh, and we have 500 customers. Uh, and 60 of Fortune 500 users, including companies like uh, Amazon, UPS, uh, Facebook, Microsoft, Western Union, Western Digital. The users are on a variety of applications like CRMs, uh, ERPs, HCMs. Great, fantastic customer base, that's, that's really good. So when you say you're a digital adoption platform that kind of provides an overlay, what, are you, what specifically you're talking about? You're talking about notifications inside of an application. Tell us a little bit more about that. Sure, sure. So Whatfix helps employees throughout their journey of uh, journey in their applications. Okay. As they onboard to the applications for the first time, Whatfix welcomes them and holds them to the application. So we provide these, uh, what we call it as flows. So these are step-by-step -step guidance to the users uh, for using the applications and processes. And not only within the application, Whatfix guides the users across applications that the employee is faced with. Uh, so, for so example, cross application cross workflows, that kind of thing. Flows. That's yeah. correct. Okay. That's correct. For example, an account executive. Mm -hmm. So, so they have to manage uh, opportunities in the CRM, and then to to create a code, they have to go to a CPQ, and then to submit a to submit a purchase order, probably they'll have to go to a digital workplace to maintain the code and. Uh, proceed to the contract. So Whatfix can guide the users throughout this entire process. Great, so it's not just about the challenges of learning about one particular application, it's actually learning an, an entire workflow that might stretch across multiple applications. That's accurate. Some sort of end-to-end -end process that gets very complex because you're moving from one interface to the next. Is That's that right? accurate. That's okay. accurate. Great. Yes. And I guess another challenge would be that you know many at in a large enterprise, right? You know many of the applications that come from the well-known vendors get highly customized for yes. that particular business environment. Is that correct? That's completely true, Don. So uh, Salesforce instance of UPS looks very different from. Salesforce instance of Western Union because it's completely customized to the organization business workflows and the nature of their business. So this customization also brings in a lot more adoption challenges because uh, even though I'm an account executive who have seen Salesforce in my past experience, it looks very different from, from my current job. So that's more challenging for the enterprises to train the employees and make them use. Great, understood, okay, very good. So, so the, 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 the problem that you guys are really trying to solve is around this, this, this challenge of getting cust of employees to adopt kind of the new applications in, in, as, as part of their kind of overall digital transformation journey. Is that, is that right? That's true. It's not only new applications now with, uh, with the so much of cloud movement. Uh, so the applications are actually getting updated more faster as ah, you must right. have heard so much about Agile being used in the enterprises for the IT rollouts and IT deployments. That means changes are constant. So because you are, uh, you are reinventing your business processes as you are learning. Uh, so now employees actually, it impacts more than employee experience because uh, now uh, every update employees have to be on top of those. So Whatfix can help them with these updates and making sure that employees are self-served. Uh, understood, okay, very good. So now this has become really such a widespread problem across you know, many of these large enterprises that sure. it, it's now become quite a mature category of, of software solutions, is that right? That's accurate, Gartner called out this category as Digital Adoption Solutions, DAS. Digital Adoption Solutions? That's okay. correct. DAS? DAS, that okay. Great. that's correct. And then they coined this term only uh, quarter back and they published reports uh, in terms of seller productivity and how it will influence the digital workplace and such kind of uh, things. Great. Yeah. Okay, 
Great. So, so this category now is becoming more widespread, right? And, and people really see these types of solutions as being key to enabling digital transformation in the enterprise, right? That's accurate. Okay, that's great. Accurate. So, so then what are the trends that are driving this problem? What, what, what is it that's making this such a, a problem area that companies really need to focus on dedicated solutions to solve it? Yeah, so one primary is the cloud migration. So cloud migration? More, yes, okay. more and more the companies uh, wants to move to the cloud. For example, you no longer hear uh, CRM being on-prem, so people are using all the cloud CRMs. So the migration to the cloud, uh, and then the digital, overall the digital transformation of these business practices to suit this cloud migration, that will also, it's all putting pressure on uh, employee experience. So impacting and making sure that employees are getting used to these uh, new applications and the constant rollouts. Got it, got it, okay. So, so, so with all this happening, right, more and more applications moving to the cloud, the applications themselves are, 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 are evolving much faster, the interfaces are changing, and then moreover, they're getting more complex because they're getting yes. more in, interconnected, right? That's and, and so you have this step-by-step -step kind of workflow that helps people navigate uh, you know, all of these integrated applications you know, to, to actually perform a, a, a single uh, workflow. That's accurate, that's accurate. And at the same time, given that uh, Wordfix is on top of these uh, applications, we are learning a lot about the user, this particular user and what they are doing, what they're good at, what they're not good at. Got it. This is helping us to uh, make make our content more personalized to the users. Just like Google, you search uh, for the same keyword, I search for the same thing, we both see different results. Because it's personalizing to our taste and our knowledge and expertise. Wow. So that's exactly it's getting into. And it's not only guidance, we are also helping users to be more productive by automating certain steps. Let's say you do certain activity every day, then Wattfix can do that automatically for you so that you're becoming more and more faster in your job. Interesting, that's, that's interesting. So, so it's not so it's not only helping provide guidance for people moving through these applications, but it's actually collecting data about how users are interfacing with it, right? And then delivering a more kind of personalized experience in terms of the guidance that it offers. Accurate. Is accurate. that right? That's okay. accurate. Great. So, so that's really kind of I guess that would really be the the main. Uh, kind of area of innovation, I would imagine, for, for a system like this, right? Yes. The ability to capture data about how users are interfacing with the application and then provide recommendations on how to do it better. Yes, that's uh, definitely one of, the, one of the area. There are several reasons why customers uh, choose us. We believe in the concept called adoption everywhere. So that adoption means everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Okay. So that means uh, uh, employee need not be on the application all the time, mm -hmm. but th they may want to interact with the application when they are outside of the application. Okay. So be it maybe you are in the wiki, you're looking for something, then you want to interface with the application. So Wattfix is present across all touch points wherever employee may reside and guide them to the application and help them use the application. And second, uh, uh, we are very easy to deploy and maintain. So we yep. invested heavily on this mm. because we realized that uh, we don't have to, we shouldn't be providing a platform which is technically more complex for the business guys to create these kind of process flows. We kept them very low tech and our othering environment is very easy for them to use uh, uh, and maintain. Okay. Yeah, and then we are, uh, our, we are very open in terms of our APIs, just like Salesforce, which right. is very open in terms of integrations because we do understand that enterprises are wants more of interconnected applications. So our, all our APIs are open and we work well with the enterprise ecosystem. And uh, our customer success is uh, is uh, highly regarded. So we are best among one of in the enterprise uh, in the uh, in the software vendors in terms of the highest customer satisfaction. Right. And we care a lot about uh, real user privacy and security. So we don't really collect PII information for I doing see. the recommendations and personalizations as I spoke about. I see. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And so then the, the, tell us a little bit more about which kind of applications are you guys finding, which categories of applications really kind of benefit most from this kind of guided you know, uh, 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 walkthrough capability? Sure, so the applications are uh, widespread, so, but more commonly people use us on CRMs, uh, ERPs, and HCMs, and digital workplaces. These are the kind of applications where customers commonly use us on. Okay, so ERP and CRM would be the kind of core, would you say? Yeah, CRM, ERP, and HCM. So these will be the core, uh, I would say. And uh, it's not only the applications that uh, customers are purchasing from outside, mm -hmm. but Wattfix can work on any applications that is internally built or uh, any applications that their IT team is uh, customizing, Wattfix can work Great. on any so of those. Great, so bespoke applications you know, developed internally inside companies are 
equally suitable for this as are as are the packaged applications that's that they correct. might be customizing for their for their business processes. That's correct. Okay, that's, that, correct. That, that's great. So I just on the on the kind of conclude here. Talk. Let's talk a little bit about maybe some of the customer success stories that you sure. guys have had. Sure. And I'm not asking you to necessarily name names, but you know maybe talk about some of the yeah. areas where you've seen some real value creation from from implementing a system like this. Sure. Sure. Our customers have seen that. Uh, uh, Onboarding time of employees into the applications have reduced one third. So one third. because of using WhatFix, because now employees are learning uh, in the flow of work. You no longer have to train them to use the applications. And we have also seen that uh, organizations telling that their content creation times and the amount of training preparation time has reduced uh, 85 percent or 85 percent because of uh, our easy to use authoring environment and uh, easy to maintain authoring environment. And we've also seen organizations uh, have reduced support tickets, internal support tickets by 60%. Wow. Uh, yeah. So we have also seen that the uh, overall productivity of the employees increased by 35% because uh, they're able to find things and be able to self-serve and do more faster in the applications. Got it. So so the old days of uh, sitting down and sort of uh, expecting the employees to read the user manual yeah. kind of page by page, right, before they dive in is kind of is gone now, right? It's gone. It's, it's gone. What yeah. people want to see is they want to get into the application and then they want to be able to be guided through what they need to do to solve their particular problem. That's and they want it done. done in real time. That's true, right? that's right, Don. And, and even better, they have that whole guide through maybe customized to their particular problem. That's accurate, Don. That's okay. the digital adoption solutions for you. Yeah. Great, well that, that sounds like a fantastic solution. Uh, understand the role plays, fantastic. I, I think you guys are doing great work. Um, so, want to maybe just kind of touch on this last point where do you see this kind of industry going maybe in the in the future yeah. uh, you know what you know this is uh, you know fantastic innovation but how do you see this uh, trending in, as as digital transformation becomes more widespread yeah sure so adoption as the as the problem statement uh, more and more organizations understand and yes. more and more software vendors understand today like if you, uh, we are at dreamforce now so if you see the number of sessions around adoption is phenomenal so like when the gartner called out that uh, only 60 6 to 7 percent of uh, our enterprises have adopted to the solutions like uh, what fix so so there has to be more awareness so people enterprises understand that enter adoption is a problem but they are not aware that there are solutions exist to tackle that problem. So we see that's going to be the future for us as we go forward, having more and more enterprises adopt to these kind of solutions. Great, okay. Well, if you happen to be a Dreamforce, folks, you'd stop by and, and talk to what fix. So uh, Vara, Kumar, thank you for coming on theCUBE. So thanks for joining us for another CUBE conversation. I'm Donald Klein, and we'll see you next time.